Hello world, how are, how are you? A while back I uploaded a video showcasing 43 of my favourite retro Mario stages in a single Mario Maker Super World. You probably don't remember that video because not many people watched it and I hate all of you. I don't hate you, come back. These 43 stages were recreated painstakingly accurately, mainly so I could play these classics on multiplayer but also they're pretty fun to edit. Auto-scrolling? <laughs> Never heard of it. What's that? Your favourite retro Mario game is Super Mario Bros. 3? Me too! So this time I'll be sharing 40 stages, all from SMB3. Oh boy. Most of them new ones since the other video, some of them are from the other video, but mostly with improvements. Ooh. Before we start, yes I know I'm not the first to do this, but searching for a levels map on Google and copying it to Mario Maker tile for tile is not a science, but an art form. Also, some of these levels I haven't seen done before. The previous one of my videos was a top 40. I don't really know what you'd call this. This time I picked 5 levels from each world, obviously based on whether I like them or not, and levels I thought would just be good for co-op. So we start with 1-1, one, one, of course. I love this course. With all these stages, by the way, I've made sure all the stuff that's randomly generated, like the trees and bushes, are in the right places where I can. Oh, you're very welcome. I've also tried not to be too creative, unless I really have to be. These are most of the originals as they are. Moving on, we have stage 3. I'm going to stop telling you if I love a course, because I love everyone on this list. One thing I did change about this course was the bonus area, because now... Whoa! If you don't like this change, however, you can always shift on over to this part, swap out the pipes, change the theme, and you're good to go. Also, in case you didn't know, this stage had a secret where holding down on this platform took you behind the stage and you could get a warp whistle. Ooh. And to think, I'd forget something like that. See? Granted, it's not as good as a warp whistle, you don't have to hold down either. Next is World 1's Fortress. I couldn't do the moving spikes in this room, so I made the lava rise instead, and it pretty much works the same way. The boss fight is also on the Bowser Bridge. It's not very accurate, and you can basically skip the boss fight, but you always need to break a bridge in the castle stages, and having one after the battle just feels silly. Next is Stage 1-6. One thing I couldn't get 100% with any stage like this was the track. They're a different size in Mario Maker, so I figured the best way was to make everything else first, then build the tracks close enough around that. And here's the first airship. Defeat the boss and the airship will poop you out onto the goal. Forget to defeat the boss somehow and you can re-enter this way. World 2 now and we begin with this stage. I love this stage. Oh, I did it again. These are the nicest looking pyramids I could come up with. If you're wondering why I didn't stick to the original design, it's because semi-solids in Mario Maker can only be this small, and I didn't like these awkward bits. And if you're wondering why the top of this one is made of clouds, it's because if you have more than five overlapping semi-solids in Mario Maker, they start to disappear. This video isn't a tutorial on Mario Maker, but I just wish somebody had told me this earlier. I love Kuribo shoes. They are the Yoshi of SMB3, and here they play the Stompy Bricks. Next is 2-4. You probably remember there being water in this stage, and the last time I shared this stage, I kept it dry. This time I turned it into a mini bonus room because it kind of felt empty without the water. Wasn't quite worth doing the same for this body of water though in stage 2-5. That's the one thing I wish Mario Maker had though, a water tile. That and the ability to swap the main level with a sub-level. So many times have I started a level and had to redo the whole thing, but I digress. Next we have the pyramid stage, the airship, and then it's on to world 3. After the gloomy underground pyramid stage, and then the airship stage, it's nice one why with a- <laughs> Oh, I remember now, this stage in the original finished with a second room, which if I could I would have just merged the rooms together, but for some stages like this one it doesn't feel the same not leaving the water, and here in the little ding 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 so I added a room at the start, and I made it an excuse to have the Hammer Bros fight, and that frog suit that you'd probably equip yourself with before this level is in here somewhere. You think this is original now? You wait till I do it three more times. Like I do in 3-2. 3-2 is a lot of fun. And 3-8. Speaking of 3-8, there's no big bathroom Mario Maker. So big cheap cheeps will do. Here's 3-7. Another airship. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then it's Giant World. Yay! Yay! This is one of my favourite worlds, but sadly big objects isn't a thing in Mario Maker. So I chose mostly stages that gave Giant World vibes without everything being giant. Except for the enemies, which include stages 1, 2, 5, and 6. I thought putting cheap cheeps in clown cars made for a good alternative for the big Bertha that threw her babies at you. Huh, I've never, never said that out loud before. Then we have Iggy's airship before moving on to Sky World, and it kicks off with 5-1, a level I shared last time but with a little bit of a redesign. One change I made from the original was removing one of the 1-ups. I always thought 4 was too generous anyway, but on multiplayer it's 4 per player 
I gave you a power block instead? 5-3 is a great stage. The Yoshi stage. Spiral Tower is also a great stage. And then look, we go to the cloud section like in the original. There we have 5-5. Five, five. Mario Maker doesn't have whatever these enemies are, so I put a chump in a firing clown car. Same. Thing. In this stage, you could unlock the Tanuki suit, but as you don't carry power-ups to the next stage in Mario Maker, it seems pointless giving something so useful this far into the level. So I give you a spiny shell. So at the very least, you can smash this thing up, which is as fun as it looks. Here's Roy's airship, and it might be me, but I'm pretty convinced Mario Maker's cannons fire a lot more. So have fun. And then who doesn't love Ice World? Here's 6-3. I tried to cover all 10 themes by the way, and it's only the ghosts seem to go. For this stage's Tanuki suit, I gave you this. I, uh, I'm recording this, I don't actually remember what I gave you, so I'm hoping it's good. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. I haven't decided if 6-7 is a good multiplayer stage or not. I think it is, just as long as no one falls while the other one stays up high. This usually kills both players. It's better to both fall. No, no, uh, no, I don't know. Less skilled players can use these instead. See? Care about you guys. Oh, second fortress from World 6. And we get to use the ghost theme. Boom. Boom boom! 610 is back from my previous video, and this stage's Tanuki suit is a flying Kuribo stiletto shoe. And it's surprisingly useful, just don't hold down for too long. Lemmy Cooper's airship is probably my favourite, just for the unique boss fight. Then it's everyone's favourite, Plant. Well, is it Plant World? Pipe World? Hmm. I'm gonna say Plant World. Hmm, it's Pipe World, isn't it? I've shared this crazy stage with you before, 7-1. This stage was pretty hard to pull off with all those pipes. In the vertical sub-level, I made the level in full, and this is where most of the climbing happens. Main levels can't be vertical, so I just made loads of sections horizontally, and blocked off some areas where I needed to. It actually works pretty well, except I reached the limit for pipes, so this one pipe doesn't work. It was a pointless pipe though. 7-2 is also back, with a bit of a redesign. I love the new themes in Mario Maker, but I think SMB3's forest theme can get a little bit cluttered, so I try not to place too many solid blocks when I use it. I like it for how the pipes react to each other though, that's pretty cool. In my previous version these pipes were red, just like the original, it looked great, but it's also made the plants come out much faster, so it's much nicer to play. Yeah. 7-5 was clearly not made with Mario Maker in mind. I didn't have enough pipes at first, so I tried this thing with thwomps. And using a dry bones shell, you can ride them. It was a great stage for testing the strengths of friendships and where teamwork was key. Maybe a bit too great. So I went for something much more like the original and just replaced some of the pipes. Here's 7-7. Seven, seven. Nice change of pace. Oh, you don't like my choice of munch a spike, munch a spike? And neither do I. But I reached the limit for enemies, which has never happened before. Very embarrassing. Could you imagine if I did six airships so far and then didn't do the last one? Well, that's exactly what I did. Instead of an airship, we get the second fortress. And if you're wondering why this one pipe is the wrong color, here is a mildly interesting fact. Green plants in SMB3 are shorter than red ones. So it's not that they're faster, but they don't take as long to fully enter and exit the pipes. I said mildly interesting. Pipe down. <laughs> pipe down. Anyway, this plant was green, and as you can't change the colors in Mario Maker, I changed the speed of the pipe so it moves faster. And as I've mentioned, you have to break the bridge in the castle stages, and I didn't want to put the boom boom fight on the bridge again, so if we go down this pipe, hoo hoo. What's this? A throwback to Super Mario Bros. 1's final stage? With a fake Bowser so this is clearly the wrong castle? What a wonderful way to set the mood for World 8! World 8 in the original began with tanks. And then a little while later you jump over some planes or something like that. Our World 8 begins with a medley of both. Yeah, we start with the Air Force, beat the baddie, and then it's ground level to do some tank stuff. And yes, they can be downloaded separately too. Links to all three are in the description, blah 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 blah. Then on to World 8-1. With the grass setting at night, it's quite a beautiful looking stage. Yeah, these coins aren't usually there until you hit the P-switch, but I replaced the P-switch with a POW. <laughs> nice. Then we have the second stage of World 8. If, like me, you are sensible and avoided the quicksand, then it's news to you that there's actually secret stuff going on down there. There's no quicksand in Mario Maker, so... Yeah. To encourage some cooperative play here, I added a switch, so the first player to make it across can help the others get across too. Then we have the Navy stage. Not really sure if this new design works, but it's a nice relaxing stage before the big showdown. Also, you can swim under this stage, not just in this version, but in the original. How much time have I been wasting not knowing this? And of course, we have Bowser's Castle, complete with what I think is one of the most unique Bowser fights of all time. But that's not all. After completing the Bowser fight, we still have to break a bridge, so there's one more battle. And there you 
you have it, 40 great courses from Super Mario Bros. 3, mostly unchanged. And download links to each of them are in the description. Let me know in the comments what your favorite SMB3 stages are, and let me know if I missed any you really like. I've now covered SMB3 and a mixed top 40, so let me know what other Mario game you'd like me to focus on. I'd love to do SMB1, Lost Levels, and some others, so be sure to subscribe if that's your thing. Thank you for sticking around with me. Now go, go play some SMB3. Actually wait, go, go watch some stuff, hit some stuff, and then go play some SMB3. Thank you again.